Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with Tinker and Timmy. Today, we're gonna to be talking all things water tanks on your four-wheel drive, specifically on my four-wheel drive, the 80 here. So if you wanna be able to have on tap pump water here, or even here, or how about while you're camping? Well, stick around, I'll show you through my setup, a few tips and tricks. Not only can you adapt this to an 80 series, you can adapt this to any four-wheel drive. Your tank might be slightly different than my setup here. So what we've got here, we've got a 12 volt pump, just purchased on eBay, it's nice and cheap, simple one pressure pump so i've switched it remotely to a switch here so you switch it on builds up pressure there and as you turn the tap on it pumps out simple as that i think it's got a rating of four to six or six liters per minute builds up enough pressure too that you can also hook up a shower so we've got a shower head here you just hook up to that so you can have an, a cold shower but you can you know rinse off after the day well, some of the pros of the setup is all the weights down low guys so the tanks underneath the car where the spare tire would normally be not up high, doesn't take up any cargo space. What I really like about this setup is now we do a lot more camping with our caravan now. So we still utilize this water tank and how we do it is if we're running out a bit of water in the van, I run back into town and instead of filling up with three or four jerrys to fill up one tank on the van, all I do is run into a town, fill it up here, I fill up via this hose here. So this one here, I just undo this, plug straight in and pump down into the, into the tank. I've got my breather here. The breather's just on top of the tank, comes out to here and just do like an um, air compressor exhaust fitting. I pump into here, I've got 60 litres to bring back home to the van, and then I fill up the van by that. It's clean drinking water. I filter it coming in here, and I can also filter it coming out into the van via the auxiliary filter we've got for the caravan. So up underneath, it's just a 60 litre caravan water tank. Now the, the idea behind that was, it's nice and lightweight. It was a trial, I just welded up the frame to make this fit. It was just a trial and if I liked it, I was going to get like a stainless tank built to suit the space under there, maybe get a little, little bit more low profile. But to be honest, this setup has worked so goddamn well. I've had it for five years and all I've had to do is add a new pump because this one, the old one wasn't priming too well and just weld on a bit to those straps because as it was full, the tank was sagging a little bit and the straps were pushing out. So it's worked so well, I just added those two more things and I'll leave it the way it is. If I was going to do some more serious off-roading, um, yeah, a stainless tank would be great, so you don't um, puncture it, but I've also done some provisions so I can mount like a, a guard underneath it, so I don't damage the tank as badly, um, but I'm mindful of that. And on that note as well, on damaging the tank, it's a good idea not to have all your water in one source when you're doing some remote touring. I've also got another swing away carrier, I can put some water on there. Um, so if I do puncture that tank, I've got water, so we don't go without water. Yeah guys, I hope you picked up a couple of tips and tricks on my setup and you can adapt it to your setup. Like I said, there's a couple of different um, tank sizes. You should be able to find one to suit your application. If not, you could always just use the jerry cans but still have it plumbed into the pump. It makes it so much more convenient that it's just easy. You flick a switch, like if your hands are dirty and stuff like that. Flick of a switch, open the tap, and you're ready to go. Like I, like I said, like I've used this, we hook up a shower head to this. Um, but even when I'm working on the car, covered in grease, I just come around the back here, got the old Solvolt cake there, wash my hands before I go inside and dirty up the sink, eh? Alright guys, I'll end the video here, thanks for watching, hope you picked up some tips and tricks so you can get a plumbed water set up on the back of your 4 See you at the next one guys, cheers.